Hi, Valerie Quiggle here. This video is for anyone who is considering doing the three-day refresh by Beachbody. I wanted to give you an example of one of my days of food, just so you could um, have an idea about how I structured it and maybe get some ideas for yourself. So, um, I'll go through kind of my typical day and then uh, a few other thoughts I had based on all that. So just so you know, this is from my perspective. Um, I just went through it last week, so about I finished it about six days ago. So you will get, when you, if you get your program, you will get this guide, and it walks you through everything um, that you will need to know, what you know about the different products, and then there is a menu in there and recipes and food examples um, for you to follow. So your first meal, your breakfast, is Shakeology and a fruit. Now you can choose to have that fruit mixed into your Shakeology or separate. Um, I like my Shakeology with a few mix-ins. Typically I added a few things, but for this I just did um, the one fruit that was recommended. So for breakfast I just had my shake with the fruit mixed in. Then mid-morning I had the um, fiber sweep as per the... Uh, menu and my one recommendation on that I heard mixed kind of reviews on that and I thought it was just fine it I would say it kind of has a lemony tea flavor and it does have um, uh, I don't know, it's, pulp isn't the, quite the right term but it does have some texture to it and I thought it was just fine now based on recommendations I um, you know put it in the water put in the sweep, shook it really well, and just basically chugged it. Um, I didn't mind the taste. The one thing I have heard is that if you let it sit for, um, you know, if you slowly sip it, it gets kind of really thick and sludgy. So um, that would be my one recommendation is just to sort of drink it, you know, don't, don't let it sit around, just try to drink it right away. And it wasn't a lot, I think you mix it with eight ounces of water. Um, so I just, at that point I was kind of hungry anyway, so um, I didn't have any problem just drinking it right down. Then the next meal is uh, lunch, and I tried that a couple different ways because with lunch you get you um, are having the vanilla fresh shake, and then you get a um, fruit, and you also get a vegetable and a fat. So um, what I did was the first day I mixed in my fruit went into the shake, and second day I just had the shake straight and I actually preferred it that way um, and then I had my fruit separate so I had my vanilla fresh shake I had a fruit and then f for those lunches um, I varied it a little but I had uh, a vegetable and a fat so um, could be I know I made a hummus and so a bunch of days we had the vegetables and hummus um, then for the afternoon snack okay so that is um, the, another vegetable and fat. So that could be cooked vegetables and coconut oil or vegetable hummus, um, you know, whatever you want it to be. Avocado could be your fat and another vegetable. Then dinner is another shake and same thing. I didn't mix anything in that vanilla fresh. I just did it water and vanilla fresh. I thought, I actually thought it was a really good flavor. I really like the vanilla fresh. Um, and then had the uh, dinner item that we had picked out. So that's kind of my day. What I recommend is planning ahead in this book. If you go to the specific days, it has all three days listed out. And so, um, this is the book that we did not write in, but uh, you can see it has, uh, so like for breakfast here, let's see, can you see that? It has Shakeology, and then it has one serving of fruit from the fruit list. So you can go, when you're planning, you can go back to the fruit list pick what you want and then write it in there and so then when you uh, you have your shopping list right there and then there's there's no guesswork when when once you start um, doing your three days everything's written out and it's super easy nothing's really difficult to make in here during the day it's usually fresh fruit or fresh vegetables or maybe you want to steam them depending on you know if you're home or at work or whatnot um, and then the knitter the dinner um, Menus are all very simple too, all vegetable based. We did stir fries two days, and then the third day, um, some steamed kale with lemon and pine nuts. So, um, but there's lots of different uh, menu options. However, they all are vegetable based. This is dairy free, uh, meat free, 
gluten-free uh, cleanse. So that is basically how this went. Now my one perspective I wanted to give you going through this, the meals satisfied me when I um, ate them, but I got hungry, which I guess was a little surprising because my husband Dave seemed to be fine. He didn't really have any hunger issues, but I was getting hungry um, a little bit before it was time to have my next meal. I don't know why, um, but I fixed that. I mean, I was still a little bit hungry, but certainly absolutely doable for, for three days. But what I ended up doing, kind of my second and third days, was for, let's say, um, lunch, where I had a shake and a fruit and a vegetable. I spaced those out a little bit. So um, it says for most of these, you need to wait at least an hour after you have one, like your um, fiber sweet, before you can have your vanilla fresh. So I would wait an hour, hour and a half, and then maybe I would have my fruit, and then I might wait another hour and have my shake, and then another hour and have my uh, vegetables, and that just sort of helps me from getting starving and keep me kind of satiated uh, the whole day. So that would be my one tip if you happen to get hungry. Now you may be like my husband and you uh, may be just fine and that will be a non-issue. Let's see, I wrote down a couple things I wanted to remind um Oh, I guess I wanted to um, remind you too, it's only three days and it's so doable and you know what, you'll find it's really nice that everything's mapped out for you and there's no thinking once you get it prepped and a lot of this stuff like your uh, fruits or maybe you could cut up your vegetables in advance and then put them in baggies in the refrigerator and really you just have to grab them and go. It makes it super easy. Now for the results. Obviously you guys results will vary. Uh, it seems like everyone is losing weight doing this. Um, some lose a little, some lose a lot. I lost uh, four pounds so I was happy with that and a few inches. Um, but really more for me the biggest d deal was I've lost the cr I was I'm was so addicted to sugar. And I get off it and I have a little bit and I'm stuck on it again. So um, this really kicked that for me. Six days later, I still have no cravings. Uh, and I've actually even lost another pound in the last six days without really even trying. So um, I wanted to point that out just because I know sometimes there's concern with cleanses on maybe you lose it, but you gain it um, right back once you start eating um, more foods again. So that has not been a problem at all. It's actually worked in reverse and uh, no cravings and I'm feeling uh, fantastic and you know looking forward to eating the healthy foods. So I hope that kind of gave you an idea of what maybe a typical day is like uh, on the three-day fresh. I would highly recommend it um, you know especially for someone who kind of likes that immediate gratification that kind of gets you the results quick. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I would be happy to answer them, and I hope you have a great day.